Aaron Kerman is one of the top real estate brokers in Los Angeles. He's sold more than six billion dollars worth of real estate in his career. What's his secret? My secret to selling six billion dollars worth of luxury real estate is that I'm not afraid to be brutally honest with my super rich clients. So we asked Aaron to share five of the worst things he's ever had to tell his wealthy clients. This is the stuff that they definitely did not want to hear about their multi-million dollar homes. Here's number one. Your house is not worth what you think it is. I have to tell sellers their house is worth thousands, if not millions, less than what they think. And people get very upset because this is their life we're talking about. And here's the cool part. Aaron's had cameras following him around for about a year now. So we have a moment here of Aaron telling a client her house isn't worth what she thinks it is. Take a look at this clip from his new TV show on CNBC. It's called Listing Impossible. What was the last published price? Thirteen nine. What did you pay for the lot? Three eight. Okay, you paid three eight for the lot. And what did you pay to build the actual house? Nine. Nine million dollars. I, I don't even know if you know how much you're hemorrhaging. Well, with property taxes and maintenance and everything. You're, sitting, yeah. on, you're also sitting on cash, a cash investment. That's getting you zero return. Right. That's also a liability for your future. I mean, what kind of numbers were you guys thinking about then? I think it should be around nine million and see what the market responds at. I know it sounds scary. There's no way. You are yourself. Number two. Your taste is terrible. I know what sells houses. You have to get rid of the old ugly furniture and put in the new beautiful stage furniture or paint the room or house. But ultimately, sellers have to spend money to make money. And when Aaron breaks that news to this couple in Orange County, things get tense. So this is your office. Yeah. I, in general, like guitars. I think it's overboard for the space and I'd love to tone it down, including getting rid of the gun safe. Some people like guns, some people don't. Well, a lot of people don't like the Constitution. That got heavy real quick. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is my man cave. I know. I've been here for eight months. I gotta be here another how long without my man cave? How much longer do you wanna be here? Because the way it looks now, I think you're gonna be here for a really long time. I think this is hot. You don't think the demographic that's going to buy this house likes rock and roll? They're fighting us on this guitar wall. I know. It's I, 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 I really, really think this wall's hot. Aaron, and considering there are how many guns in this room, I think we should let this one go. Number three. Your house is so messy and cluttered, I can't even see straight right now. And when homes are filled with clutter, it is the best way to turn off potential buyers. Here's Aaron getting brutally honest with another couple. Who's got a major clutter issue. One of the reasons we love you guys is that you guys are quirky and fabulous. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why we don't love you is you, you don't listen to us. I hated this library three years ago, and I hate it even more today. Do you remember we said a lot of clutter doesn't work well for selling homes? Kind of. Doesn't English heritage matter? This is typical of what you see in an English mansion. Collecting crap in your bookshelf isn't a British thing. It's a hoarder thing. We do respect English heritage, but the cobra and the mongoose need to go. Number four. You are asking all this money for a house and you can't even clean it? I walk into home sometimes and it's covered with dust. It hasn't been cleaned in weeks. And sometimes these are really expensive houses. The pool is looking sad, actually. Oh, don't hurt its feelings. Well, it just looks super dirty. And that was actually a snob. We have one chance to make a first impression, and this is not good. Number five. You built your house totally wrong, and now there's nothing we can do about it. Because cosmetic issues we could always change, but sometimes structural issues we cannot. I had a client who built a pool outside in the shade with no sun. She put her pool in a basement with half of it under a roof. You can't even call it a pool, nor is it a jacuzzi. I think we're calling it a paloozy. It's so small. There's no sun. There is nothing good about that situation. What we need to do is figure out a way to minimize that damage. 
I'm so brutally honest, it may seem surprising that people hire me. But the reality is, that's what's gonna get the house sold, make me commission, and get the money in the bank. It's also gonna make for a great TV show. It's a series full of drama, tension, and some really great insights into the real estate business. For buyers and for sellers. Listing Impossible airs Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on CNBC. I'm watching.